All right, so Dale here with Pacific Sun Technologies and we are out on an exciting project that I just had to share with you. We are installing the necessary equipment for this customer to use their Ford Lightning to power their whole home during a grid outage. Now, this might come as a little shocker to you, but you can use your electric vehicle and power your whole home if you have the correct equipment. Now, you live in our area of Southern California and you want us to install your backup equipment for your Ford Lightning, well, visit us online to request your hassle-free quote. We would love to have you as a customer and love to install another project like this. And I'm excited to show you the installation process and show you how cool it is to use your electric vehicle to back up your home. So this is the other side of the wall where the equipment's located, and this is the homeowner's 400 amp service. Now, it's important to note this is a split 400, so that means there are two 200 amp main breakers in here. And it's kind of helpful that the homeowner already put this in here uh, prior to us coming in and doing this installation because he plans on doing an ADU. And I want it to be notated it's helpful because the EV charger for the Ford Lightning doesn't go in the backup panel. It needs to be outside of the backup panel. So what we'll be doing is putting it over here on this connection on the bus bar uh, for the other half of the 200 amps. And that'll be a 100 amp overcurrent protected device for protector for 80 amps of continuous backup power. This is the Ford Sunrun Delta inverter. This is the 10,000 series. According to the homeowner, he said that a lot of people are having a hard time getting this particular model. Uh, don't really know what that is all about, but uh, I can speak to what we have here. And the configuration's pretty crazy. So this is what's going on. We are doing whole home backup with this setup. So you have the grid coming in, you have your loads, that's the backup panel. Now, you would think that the Delta inverter, at least with all the other products on the market, would connect in here, part of the loads. So that way it doesn't take up space in the emergency loads panel. Wrong. Uh, this equipment actually connects with a breaker inside the emergency loads panel. So what we're going to do to save room is we're gonna put on this DIN rail, we're gonna do an overcurrent protected device, a DIN rail style, and then we're just gonna tap these. It'll be the same. Uh, basically all this, all this is doing is separating 
the grid and the loads during a grid failure and allowing the delta inverter to power the home with the DC power of the solar system and the DC power of the Ford Lightning. Now, what's interesting to note is this is actually a DC input on the delta inverter. So, and you can also tie in an LG chem battery. So you could have a solar input, you could have your EV charger input, and you could have an LG chem battery uh, all wired into this unit. So you have three sources for emergency backup. Pretty interesting, pretty cool. Uh, there is a black start feature built in, and all that is is when there's a grid outage and you drained the battery completely, that the system has a backup battery for itself to still keep the communication board online and ping for solar production in the mornings. So that's kind of a cool feature uh, that this unit has. Not a lot of products have it, um, but you know there are quite a few battery systems that have started to deploy black star features, and it's just built into it. Given this is a little different, it's intended for EV charging or or grid to home backup. You know you got a lot of different things going on. So yeah, kind of a crazy project so far, but uh, yeah, this is it's coming along nicely, and we'll be installing the Ford Lightning charger. And we're going to be wiring it up for 80 amps of continuous backup or, well, continuous charge power. The backup power of it is a different story. And we will get into that uh, when we install it. So here we are with the equipment installed. We got the Ford Lightning 100 amp charger. Now it doesn't charge at 100 amps. That's the overcurrent protection. It charges at up to 80 amps continuously. That's 19.6 kilowatts. That's almost 20,000 watts. This is the Delta inverter that supports the DC connection of the Ford Lightning. You can also connect it with uh, solar PV, which we are doing. And you could add an LG chem battery to the system so you can have solar backup, battery backup, and then go to your Ford Lightning if neither was available. And then you have the transfer switch over here, which is really basic and I'm you know, not super impressed with it. But you know, it's nice, it's just, it's simple, but it's, uh, you know a little dated in my opinion on some of its uh, abilities and how it's connected but yeah the the delta equipment's nice i i gotta admit and then the charger is made by wallbox my one gripe would be it's very cheap i mean it's it's just plastic like everything is just plastic mounting it on the wall on the wall bracket that's plastic and you got to be really careful this is this is a heavy cable um, for this because it's got 80 amps. So this is a little bit thicker than your normal cable. It's a lot of weight and it's It just feels cheap, you know for what it is uh, I feel Ford could have done something a little bit more premium than That you know, but we still have our work cut out for us So we've been working around the clock for this customer the last two days to install the Ford lightning equipment for whole home backup now he purchased his Ford lightning uh, about six months ago and it's taken us quite some time to obtain the permits for the jurisdiction because well this is new technology no one knows anything about it and it was amazing for him to actually be able to purchase the equipment through Ford through Sunrun and then opt out of having Sunrun purchase it and he opted in for us to do his installation because we've done his solar over the years we've we did his original solar installation we then added on to a system uh, about a year later and then here we are again doing another add-on with the backup equipment so let's take a look at some of this equipment over here so you understand what's going on so you have the delta transfer switch for whole home backup this is a 200 amp automatic transfer switch that is connected to the delta sunrun hybrid inverter so this is part of their E-Series, and it's a little different than what you would typically see. It's the E10 model, and apparently that's a little bit hard 
for some of the Ford Lightning owners in the forms have noted is difficult to obtain. Um, but he was able to get this unit from Sunrun, which is really cool. And it's it gives you 9,600 watts of continuous power. That's roughly 40 amps. Uh, in terms of the surge capabilities, there's a lot of unknown to what it can do for the whole home. I know Ford has made some statements, but the specification sheets, what's written on paper, is kind of left blank. So time will tell on the backup scenario. And we will probably be showcasing that in another video, so be sure to subscribe to the channel so you can check out that when we show off him using his Ford Lightning to power his home. and use the solar system that we DC coupled to this uh, as well. Now up here, you will see that this is a 12 volt battery for Black Start. This is a really cool feature. And what it does is if the grid failed during the night when there's no solar power, well, the battery needs power or the inverter needs power. So that's what that little battery is for is to make sure this has power so we could come out here and enable the truck to back up the home in the middle of the night. And then in the morning, when the solar starts generating power, the inverter will then determine if there's enough solar energy to charge the vehicle back up and then power the home with the solar. So there's a lot going on right here. And the inverter that we connected, this is the Ford Lightning. It's manufactured by Wallbox, which is a pretty big manufacturer. I'm pretty happy with my Wallbox charger that I have at home. I'm supposed to get an end phase charger that's gonna be capable of this. Again, subscribe to the channel so you can learn more about that. My biggest gripe I would say with this particular unit is it's very plastically. And I kind of feel that was probably on Ford's request to keep component costs down, but it is a nice looking level two charger that does, are you ready for this? 80 amps of continuous charge. That is very fast. We're looking at 20 kilowatts going into this Ford Lightning, which has roughly 140 kilowatt hour battery. That's a massive battery. 20 kilowatts an hour is definitely gonna get it charged through the night. And I'm really excited to have worked on this project and be able to show it to those of you watching. So if you're interested in having us install your backup equipment for your Ford Lightning, then visit us online and request your hassle-free quote. We would love to have you as a customer we'd be able to add on to your existing solar system if you had one if you don't we'll make sure to get you one and then get you set up so you can use your electric vehicle to back up your home <laughs>